All right, uh, many thanks, Ronnie, and welcome, everybody. Many thanks for your time. So I'm happy to present, uh, you know, one of the possibilities you have to rapidly connect Simulink with hardware. In this case, it is for real-time simulation and testing. That's basically a way to rapidly prototype and test control designs or plan simulation with your hardware typically during the development process. Um, before I go into a little bit of the workflow uh, introduction, just a few words about Speakout in case you haven't yet heard about it. So Speakout is a Masterworks associate company founded around 10 years ago. Uh, we are headquartered in Switzerland and have additional subsidiaries in Germany and in the States. We are really just focusing on providing target computer hardware for Simulink for the prototyping stage. Uh, together with Masterworks, we are a team of around 100 people focusing on the real-time simulation and testing aspects, and are such closely working within the entire Masterworks organization. In Israel, we are represented by Systematics. Okay, so how does it actually work? So, um, first of all, uh, you have your development computer with MATLAB and Simulink installed. Also, as you know, you can automatically create uh, C code using MATLAB and Simulink coder, or also VHDL code using HDL coder. Now, the centerpiece with real-time simulation and testing is Simulink real-time, consisting of two main components, a real-time operating system running on target computer hardware, and then also a powerful instrumentation functionalities for monitoring, logging, and actually even parameter tuning uh, of your real-time application from within Simulink. Uh, the target computer, on the other hand, uh, which is provided by Speakout, includes your required ION protocol interfaces to rapidly connect with your hardware on the test. Can be a car, can be a motor, uh, but can also be a planned simulation. So in a nutshell, uh, Speakout solutions are really made for Simulink. We are providing a vast range of IAM protocols, over 200 IAM modules indeed. Uh, it's powerful, it's built to meet your deterministic closed loop requirements, and it's scalable. There's two key applications in doing real-time simulation and testing. The first one is rapid controller prototyping. Uh, that's typically used when you need a flexible hardware which you can rapidly connect with your hardware on the test. So if you already work on your embedded implementation or your embedded controller, you know you're quite restricted in adding additional I.O. interfaces. Um, also, you can't just easily monitor and lock signals or even tune the application during the real-time execution. With a target computer hardware, that is all possible. So it's, an, it's a way to accelerate the pace of innovation during the research and development phase, and you're not limited to your embedded implementation at this stage. The second key application is hardware in the loop simulation. So as you know, uh, with Simulink, there's also uh, powerful tools available for physical modeling provided by the SimScape platform. So you can, for example, simulate mechanical, electrical, or environmental models and actually create real-time applications of them running on the target computer. So you can emulate things uh, which, you otherwise, uh, uh, which otherwise would be hard to do. Uh, to give you an example, if you have an embedded controller and you need to test this with a big plant, an aircraft, for example, uh, or uh, if you need to perform tests which are safety critical, well, that's quite difficult to do. Oftentimes, it's also very expensive to test embedded controller hardware uh, with the real plant. So doing physical modeling is a great way to overcome these challenges. In addition, uh, you can actually define uh, test cases based on your requirements and then fully automate testing. So another way to expedite development. The way uh, to get from desktop to real-time simulation, so basically more model-based design, including connectivity with your hardware, is to just add Simulink driver blocks to your model uh, then automatically generate C and or VHDL code. And then again, also with a click of a button, the real-time application is created and downloaded to your target machine. So that takes one minute, and you're ready to go. You can test your control design, prove it, rapidly iterate, try new things. And that all from within Simulink in the so-called external mode. 
So you can, for example, also add sliders and things, and for example, uh, tune the velocity of a motor and see how your signals uh, or your uh, I/O reacts. Also, you can log data, and uh, for example, then using the tool Simulink Simulation Data Inspector, compare results gained from the real-time execution with your desktop simulation, and then improve your model again. Uh, so you are having uh, eventually a proven controls implementation for your embedded controller. Okay, so in a nutshell, it really enables you to accelerate time to, time to market by having a production independent uh, development environment, uh, also enabling you to detect design flaws earlier in the uh, development process, and you have the possibility to automate a wide range of test cases. Uh, as, you can, as you know, uh, or as you can imagine, controls is used in a very broad range of applications and industries, uh, obviously in cars, in aircrafts, but even in the smartphone, in your pocket, to develop uh, controls algorithms for your camera, for focusing, for example, battery technologies or audio technologies. Those are all uh, cases where such technologies are applied. One example, and we already heard about it in the previous presentation, is for example, Mobileye. So as you know, they're developing uh, vision chips with intelligent algorithms implemented, but those chips also need to be tested with the actual car. So by having, for example, a speaker mobile machine in the trunk of the car, uh, getting also feedback from the vehicle bus, and then actually also getting um, sensor data, such as from vision chips, you can then also provide feedback and actually uh, steer and uh, control the car. Well, actually, for example, give um, feedback to the car on how fast it should go and into which direction. I had the opportunity to actually join Mobileye also last year in Jerusalem, and it was very impressive since we were driving around in an autonomous car, and I felt very safe, so things are progressing quick. Uh, there's many other applications, also in medical devices area, also um, for vision applications, aerospace. Um, so those are just some examples. Um, three key takeaways of this quick presentation. So it's a seamless workflow you have of Simulink, not only for desktop simulation, but also for real-time simulation testing with hardware. It's mature technology used by leading technology innovators. And Spico target machines provide you with a very modular concept so that you can rapidly innovate. If you want to learn more, um, we have a Spico demo table outside. Uh, we're happy to also answer questions and further discuss. Also in the afternoon, in the model based design track, which is taking place over there, um, we are also featuring an extended session about this topic. All right, many thanks. <laughs>